Now, let's move on, because that's what we're drawing nicely. And <clears throat> what we're going to show you next is we're going to take the little brush again, <clears throat> tiny little brush, which I love working with as well. Not as good as Kiko though, she's amazing with this brush. Just clean it off, there's a bit of green on it. And what we want to do is we just want to get a little, a little contour into the mountain up here, okay? To get that differentiation, okay? And I'll show you now. <clears throat> I'm going to use a little bit of the brilliant blue. A little bit up here. Water it down again. Do you know the way I always say water it down? Because you want to make a wash of it, okay? A wash of it. Just like that, a wash. And we're just bringing down a few little lines into the mountain, okay? Just very, very loose again. No big um, <clears throat> amount of detail. It's actually just to get a few crevices in it. Bring it all the way down. <clears throat> I'm going up there to the top and I'm just bringing down a few little lines into the mountain. You get that effect. Can you see the effect that you're getting there? Okay, to make them all uneven, and what I'm going to do is going to put a little bit more into it to water it down. Just used up too much there. I know I have it now. Because we're going to come all the way across. We want to hit the top of the mountain all right where the light area is. And you see the lower the mountain is, in the lower area it's going to be darker, okay, obviously. <clears throat> so we're going over a little bit more here as well. Can you see? Yeah, no problem. Good. Can you see the effect that we're getting? This idea of these little nooks and crannies, there could be caves up there in the mountains, you know. Obviously there might be, yeah. <coughs> I can't even remember what type, where, where, exactly where, it's somewhere in Provence. Well, a lot of this, my imagination is coming into it as well. Okay, now do you see that idea? That's all you do for the moment. That's all you do. You don't have to do any more, just simple like that. Then what we do then with the background one, we're going to go for the light blue again. And we're going to put a wash of this brilliant blue, sorry, the brilliant blue over the light blue, getting confused. <coughs> I'll show you now, that's the light blue, this is the brilliant blue. We're getting a wash of this, okay? And we're going to put it over the light blue, just to bring it down a tiny bit. And you'll see what I mean, it'll affect it now in a nice way. Nice and loose, the brush strokes, add a little bit of water to it there again. A little bit of water, bring it across, down, following the contour of the mountain just to get a little bit of that lightness out of it, okay? And you're gonna put this all over it. You're not doing it the same as the mountain in, in, in front of it, the manganese mountain. Okay, just all the way across, a little bit of a wash. Now, can you see that? And it does actually add a little bit of texture to it as well, a little bit of depth. It takes that flatness out of it. Okay, can you see that? Perfect, that's all we want to do. Now with that, now we don't have to dry this because they're after drying very quickly anyway because they were just washes and it's quite warm in the studio at the moment. <clears throat> what we want to go for next is we just want to get in these little buildings here. And the buildings are put in with the light blue, brilliant blue I should say, light permanent brilliant blue. And we just want to get a little mixture of it here. Okay, you can see it running down there. Twist the brush to get a fine line. Can you see that? And just to show you. You're talking about, hmm, let's say, a nice, it's, it's a, re a rectangle really that's going to go across here, okay? And down there, in line, you always keep in line with uh, the edge of the canvas for this. Now, this is sort of a straight-ish line. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be exactly straight. But and it's going to be like a little box, first of all. Just to get in a little box area, first of all. Just get number one in. Okay, I'm just bringing it around like that. I'm using the, the thin brush because it's um, it gives a better uh, idea of just, just trying to get those uh, lines a tiny bit straight there, but not too straight, okay? Now, and now we're gonna have a shorter building beside it, this one, okay? And it's gonna be maybe about halfway, about down here, we'll say. And at the moment, they're, they're, they're not connected. One is stepped back from the other. But to get that effect, you'll be putting in a shadow, you know, at a later stage. Now, your buildings, they don't need to be, if you don't get a rectangle, they can be a square. They don't have to be rectangle, you know. They can be any shape you want. The, the main thing just to watch out is for that you leave 
enough room up here for the roof to go in and a little glimpse of the mountain behind it. Okay, can you see the roof area? Okay, that's grand. But we're gonna do the roof area then. Do you remember I was telling you with, with the orange, which I'll show you now. We have it here, the cadmium orange. And then we put a little bit of green into it just to tone it down. See the way it tones it down? Black would kill it, but a little bit of green. We'll just tone it down nicely, okay? And basically we're going to put in this as your base color first of all and we'll work it up later on but it's just to get that shape first of all you can see it's a smaller rectangle okay so I'm just going to lean against it with my hand smaller rectangle at the top of both of them you know that's it there and it's just coming out slightly we can have it slightly over the edge okay you can see why I put in those lines first of all on the mountain because we're painting them over now but now uh, they look more realistic now because they're behind the little houses okay or buildings okay we're just doing that now across there like that to get in that roof area okay can you see that I'm, I'm supporting my hand with my other hand like that at the edge of the easel see and I'm leaning on it now we're going to do this one here again underneath and it's another little rectangle going into the edge of that slightly over the edge of the building just a very slight line it doesn't have to be exactly in line with it okay or bring it in there bring it down just a tiny bit lower in there hope you can see so I can't move my phone is just this sellotaped to the tripod so I can't get any close-ups yet until I get more professional with my camera work and things like that now that this will just give you an idea here I'm just gonna straighten up this line a little bit more at the top it's a tiny bit, but remember it's tiles, they're, they're, they're not exactly straight lines, okay? Now do you see that idea, look? We have the bases of them in. We don't need to do any more with those at the moment, that's fine. But what we want to do next is, we want to get in this lovely, there's some cypresses here and there's some other types of trees as well. We want to get these in first of all before we get this lovely little hedgerow. And we're going to put those in with a deep turquoise, which is over here. <coughs> lovely deep turquoise it's another color that i love using as well with the dioxin purple just add a little bit of water to it again and get a nice flow into it and what i'm going to do is just so as you don't get too confused with it i'm just going to with, with the pastel pencil i'll just show you look just just bring out a few little my, my camps now is wider than the the card image it's more landscape but we, we can, you know, we just that. We just put in a few more trees, okay? A few more little shapes like this in here. Just keep keep with the lower line, first of all. Forget about the cypresses for the moment. Keep with the lower line of the trees going off in that direction. Okay, so now you have them in, okay? So that's handy. Now the cypresses will go in after all, after we f we get in this line, okay? So we put this in first, and I'll show you how to do the cypress trees. <coughs> It's all very easy stuff. There's no one, and I'm just gonna fill it in immediately like this. We will be putting other details in later on, but uh, first of all, we just wanna get in our base colors, as with all the other paintings we did in this style, which I sort of call it, I don't know, my semi-modern impressionistic style, I suppose you could call it, you know? I don't know, people maybe have other titles for it, but that, that's, well, that's what I would call it anyway. <coughs> I'm not an expert on it, but um, on, on naming styles. But it just reminds me of the impression. I would use the same colors, you know, as the impressionists, and the same ideas, you know, as the impressionists with blues and shadows. And now, do you see the way I'm just going across here? And did you notice I'm not really thinking of what I'm doing? Because if you think what you're doing, you're probably I don't know. It's easier to make a mistake. But when you're concentrating on something else, sometimes. You actually just forget exactly you forget what you're doing and you can, it's almost turns into a meditation you know but um, that, that's what I find with painting anyway I find it wonderfully um, calming and of course unless I'm really rank with angst when I'm working on an abstract and no, I'm only joking well that, that could happen as well but I try and avoid it now I just want to show you that now do you see that okay just bring that up a little bit there more because of the width of this painting okay now just can you see the way it's coming together grand okay i can hear you all saying yes now that's that that's the bottom we want to get in a few of these guys these cypresses and the way i do it is i just wiggle the brush i'll show you I'll show you on the palette here look on my messy palette 
I start off at the top. Can you see that there? And I just start wiggling the brush like this as I come down, you see? Pushing it out further and further and further, depending on the size of the cypress. And then we just, you know, blend it in a bit more like that, you know? And basically have your cypress straight. <laughs> okay. There's other four ways of doing it as well, I should show you maybe. If you want to do a sort of a Christmas tree effect like this, okay, just working out like that strokes getting wider and wider like this as you come towards the base of, of, your, of your tree. Okay, can you see that? So you can, I prefer this one here because it's more like a cypress, you know? And uh, which, you know, Van Gogh was famous for painting the cypress trees. But we're just gonna position a few of them here, different lengths, okay? Maybe off center, I'll start here with this one, first of all. And you can see me doing the wiggly bit there, you know, it's like a curly whirly. Do you remember curly whirlies, you know? Chocolate bars, uh, really long with curved edges and they were toffee chocolate. Really difficult to eat. Now that one is that length, okay? But now we're gonna go for a different end, go for a short one. Because we don't want a fence-like structure of um, cypress trees. We want them to look different. And then we can go for a taller one here, okay? A little bit taller than the other one. Just to bring in, to show that, uh, and it can be closer than, closer to this one. Closer to the shorter one, okay? Now, deep turquoise is um, transparent by nature. So you might, you know, you might, you, well, you will have to go over it again, okay? And then maybe we can have a shorter one here, okay? Just a shorter one here with a bigger gap. Um, like the trees are maybe are going down a hillside behind this treescape. They could be going down some sort of a hillside. Okay, so we have four there. There's actually four in this as well. We can put in another one. <coughs> we might as well, we might as well get another one over here. With even a bigger gap. And this can be spanning the two mountains and slightly in between size, maybe we'll have it this length, okay? And see the way I'm leaning on my hand again on the edge of the easel here? Uh, it, it steadies it and it, you know, it supports it. Some people like to do these details on the flat. They would put the canvas down flat on the table while they're doing this. But uh, for the purposes of the filming, I'm doing it upright, obviously. But I normally would do it upright. And um, now you can see the idea there. You see this idea here, bring that out a little bit more there. And I think, you know, you can see the different colors coming through. So you definitely will have to go over this, this particular one again, okay? But you can see the idea, can't you? Good. Okay, and uh, no big deal about it, we did it. Uh, we just spaced them according to our eye in the sense we didn't want the same gaps between them. What we can do is as well, look, we do another little one here. Slightly in between these two sizes. A bit taller than that one, smaller than that. And let's say we'll have it up here, okay? Just to fill in this gap here. And just coming down like this, okay? Into that area. And I think we have a nice selection now of cypress trees in the background. I'm gonna, you know, we'll go up a bit taller because we might as well, we'll say, because it has the idea that it is on a slope. And that's why, you know, they're getting shorter as they, as they move down that way. Going to be a little bit taller again than the other one because we don't want to really, you know, just I don't like it when it's the same size as the other one. Now, can you see that idea? Brilliant. Okay, that one is still the tallest. Now, we have, how many do we have there? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. That's all we need at the moment. And do you know what we have to do next? <coughs> we have to dry it because we want to move on to the next stage and I want to get some green, like a little hedge grow in front of that. But you can see where we're going. You can see it's all easy steps. Look, we're making our way towards these all the time, towards the lovely flowers. Okay, see you soon, thanks.